Buonasera and bentornato to another episode of This is Culture, the home of the most exciting league in the world, the Serie A. I tell you why it's exciting. Just take a look at this match, Juventus against Salernitana. Salernitana took the lead in just 18 minutes with Kandreva with the opening goal and Piontek doubling that lead with a penalty in the 5th minute of added time in the first half. However, the Bianconeri got a goal back through Gleason Bremer just 6 minutes after the restart. The old lady got a penalty right at the death 3 minutes of added time after the 90. Leonardo Bonucci's spot kick was initially saved by the Salernitana keeper but he followed up the rebound with a goal. 2 all 90 plus 3 minutes. 3 minutes later, 5 minutes into added time, Arcadius Milik thought he had scored the winning goal for Juventus, took off his jersey, celebrate. He was already on a yellow card, he got his second yellow card for taking off his jersey and he's off. Play was supposed to be restarted but the referee was called by the VAR to check on something. It turns out that when Milik scored the goal, Bonucci was offside. It can be argued that Bonucci wasn't interfering with play but his attempted header could have fooled the keeper. Goal disallowed. 2 all. And there were 3 more additional red cards shown. 1 to Fazio of Salernitana, 1 to Juan Cuadrado and one to Massimiliano Allegri. There were reports coming after the game that Candreva was actually putting everyone on side as he was closer to the goal line and he was nearer to the corner flag that wasn't picked up by the VAR judges. But then again, Juventus could have played better and got the winning goal in normal time. It's Salernitana, a team who was struggling to stay alive in the Serie A last season. After all, Juventus have enjoyed such dubious decisions for decades. I think this is things coming around, biting them in their asses. Last minute goal seem to be the agenda for this week of the Serie A. Week 6, Napoli needed an 89th minute winner via Giacomo Raspadori, his first for the club, to get all three points against Spezia. Luciano Spalletti was sent off with a second yellow card alongside one of Spezia's coaching assistants. Inter also needed an 89th minute goal from Marcelo Brozovic for their victory over Torino. Crazy 8 minutes in the second half of the Renato de Lara as Bologna beat Fiorentina 2-1. A goalless first half was followed by 3 goals in quick succession 10 minutes after the restart with Lucas Martinez Quarta of Fiorentina turning in Saponara's low drive for the opening goal. 5 minutes later, Fiorentina defender Igor made a mistake and allowed Musa Baro to breeze past him and scored the equaliser. Three minutes after that, it looked like Denzo Cassius had fouled Lucas Martinez Quarta before squaring the ball to Marco Anatovic to score the winner. But the VAR or the ref or the linesman have nothing to say about that. This was Bologna's first win over Fiorentina in 16 matches. Marco Anatovic has now scored 6 goals in 6 games and he has scored 6 out of 7 of all Bologna's goals. Monza finally got their point in their maiden season in the Serie A after their one all draw against fellow promotees Lecce. The Pantofola Doro Superleggera 2.0. The Superleggera 2.0 of course is handcrafted 
as with every other pantofolador boots it is made with a flexible kangaroo leather upper and has flat laces for optimal ball control leather collar offers a reliable ankle support studs offer optimal traction and stability pantofolador del duca comes in white as well uh, it is made with 100% calf leather upper instead of the kangaroo leather that comes with the Super Legera 2.0 But don't get me wrong, this is also a really comfortable pair of boots It is of course hand stitched like any other Pantofola Doro boots And thanks to Peach Performance, uh, they are giving a 10% discount if you use this code upon checkout so click the link in the description or in the bio wherever you're watching this from and get your golden slippers now and these are the other scores from match week 6 of the Serie A Milan beat Sampdoria 2-1 but will be worried because Rafael Liao was sent off in this game Cremonese held Atalanta to a one-all draw while Udinese continued their winning streak this time with a 3-1 win against Sassuolo. Lazio beat Hellas Verona 2-0 while Roma overcame Empoli 2-1. Let's take a look at the current standings after six matches. Napoli, Atalanta and Milan are still at the top of the table with 14 points while Udinese and Roma are just one point behind them. Inter in 6th, a point further, while Lazio is in 7th with 11 points. Salonitana remains in the top 10 despite their draw against Juventus. While at the bottom, we see the usual suspects Monza, Sampdoria and Cremonese. Monza with the solitary point, while Sampdoria and Cremonese have two. Lecce is not far ahead of them with only three points. Top of the table clash this coming week of the Serie A. Milan up against Napoli at the San Siro. The Partenope will be without some players, Hirving Lozano and Victor Osimen while Milan will be without Ante Rebic, Origi, Krunic, Florenzi, Zlatan and of course Rafael Liao after his dismissal in the previous game. Atalanta will take a trip down south as well to the capital as they face Roma. Roma is just one point behind the top three and and Jose Mourinho would want to continue his form after that devastating loss against Udinese two weeks ago. And here are the rest of this week's matches. Salonitana will entertain Lecce on Saturday morning while Bologna will meet Empoli on Sunday night. The Ligurian battle between Spezia and Sampdoria is scheduled to happen on Sunday morning while Torino welcomes Sassuolo also on Sunday morning. On Sunday evening, high-flying Udinese welcomes Inter to the Dacia Arena while an out-of-sorts Fiorentina welcomes Hellas Verona with Antonin Barak set to face his former club. Will Monza get any points as they welcome Juventus? Promotis Cremonese will face Lazio on Sunday night as well. And of course, on Monday morning, the top of the table clashes Roma, Atalanta and Milan up against Napoli. Will we see another exciting week of Italian football? What kind of question is that? Of course we will. Thank you for watching. That's all I have for you this week. See you next time. Ciao.